Hey, Alan here from Alan's BMX reporting from South Sea Skate Park that we were at uh, Weekender. I'm here to talk about the uh, Bob Haro 40th anniversary lineage complete bike that just came out. So yeah, what we've got here is a bike that you can do modern riding on with a longer top tube, all modern fitment. So yeah, like a threadless fork and a clamp on stem, um, U-brakes, obviously all chrome molly. And if you've been following any of the Haro lineage projects over the last few years, you know the attention to detail on these. It's like above and beyond what is required. The chrome finish is just absolutely off the charts. The decals, as you imagine, are absolutely perfect uh, and true to the originals. And obviously we can show you that here, how close, how close they really are. Um, got Haro lineage 48 spline crank. Uh, um, and a, a Bob Haro style, red line style sprocket, the aluminium fusion pedals, top load lineage stem, even going down to the detail of like the grips that Bob rode on his bike back in the day, those Oakley B1Bs have been manufactured specially. Uh, and because the, that, the color's a bit like yeah, but there's the color of the grip that uh, Bob rode back in the day. Got this really nice stealth pivotal. It's a pivotal system, uh, but it's uh, bolts from underneath, so you haven't got the ugly patch on the top. And I can just can never get over this seat. Check this out. Looks like a plastic, uh, maybe like 90 seat, but it's actually padded and it's super comfortable as well. So yeah, that's amazing. The bike comes with a, an alloy lineage seal burring wheel set. Um, but Skyway did make a limited number of these graphite, especially for this bike. Um, so as it stands as of today, we have got a couple of these available. They did sell out straight away. Long story, we've got a couple now. Uh, and we've got them with either the original alloy wheeled option or with the Skyway Graphites. If you buy the bike with the Graphites, you get the original wheels as well with the bike. Um, Comes with a snake belly tires, same as what Bob rode back in the day. You know, skin wall, they're really nice. So yeah, um, other details, say the pivotal seat post, they've got this uh, diacom hinge seat clamp in the uh, larger diameter. Super nice uh, gyro setup with the blue cables, all diacom brakes. You know, there's quite a few here today and these things like ride on the ramps and just, you know, they, they, are, they are superb. Uh, so yeah, just comparing this against the original bike, this is one that we've had uh, for a few years. Didn't really want to do any restoration on it because it was so good. Actually came with, um, when we bought it, actually came with like a one-piece crank. I think it was one of those setups where, you know, someone had bought it back in the day. Frame and forks were really expensive and he transferred the components from his cheaper bike over onto, onto this. Uh, but we had these, um, this uh, crank set up on something else, actually it was a GT, so he's got original Shimano DX pedals, profile cranks, matching, really nice matching alloy hub, coaster brake wheel set. This is a rental seat post, um, and it actually comes with the uh, Arl Aluminium Sunto Mini Stem, I think they were called an MS1200, uh, but actually if you're going to be using this bike for more ground tricks, it's got less reach, actually works better. Um, the Bob Haro signature power glide uh, cables uh, are on here, which are really nice. Uh, another thing that somebody asked us about yesterday was if these were Galindo handlebars. Uh, Galindo was a, a brand of aftermarket bar in the States uh, from about 1983, 1984. But no, these are rental handlebars based on the motorcycle bar um, that, that were sold in the UK. Uh, through Amoco, who were the mongoose distributor here back in the day, and uh, yeah, they're um, they're quite rare now, uh, and they have actually remade these in like a modern version, and all the British cycling team use them. So uh, yeah, they are uh, they are pretty cool. Uh, yeah, the rest of it, MX thousand brakes, the original tyres that came on it. It's a really cool bike that will be you know leaving in this condition. The only thing actually we didn't put back on it. I've been riding this a little bit, it's like the original chain, so this has got a modern chain on it, so we forgot about the chain, didn't we? So <laughs> there you go. Don't look at the chain. Why did I mention the chain? So uh, yeah, 
going back going back to the 40th so yeah this isn't for sale but this one is so if you want a bike that looks amazing and you can ride it with modern geometry and a bit bigger frame uh, check one of these out at alanbmx.com